Bridgestone has come out with their next generation of clubs. Driver, fairway wood, hybrid, and irons. And I get to test all of them. As McCune reviews it, let's hit some balls. So Bridgestone's come out with their next generation of JGR uh, clubs here, um, and they've they've stuffed a bunch of technology into each kind of version, whether it be driver, fairway, hybrid, irons, um, and uh, this is kind of so they came out a few years ago with the original JGR. Uh, this is the next generation, and I mean let's just let's just get right into it, right? Let's talk about first how they look. Uh, driver, fairway wood, hybrids, real sleek, real nice. Um, they look like they might be black, but actually in the sun, when the sun hits them the right way, they've kind of got like a midnight blue sort of color to them. Um, the driver specifically has got uh, some weights built into it internally. Uh, it's got some and externally as well, so you can adjust it. Uh, this version as you can see on the on the shaft there no adjustability to it um, so it's pretty much just straight up it does have a draw bias all of these have a draw bias which we'll talk about in a minute um, the technology built into the driver and fairway woods and, and hybrids um, they have they've taken this uh, this power milling technology that they had on the original driver and they've moved it into everything else so the hybrids and, and fairway woods have them as well um, and they've actually doubled the depth of these milling grooves and the milling grooves what they're supposed to do is they they on miss hits specifically um, will give you some more forgiveness um, in terms of ball spin so you that it creates a lower spin off the face which is nice which allows you to, to miss hit and God knows as the clubs get longer my miss hits get more and more often um, the other thing they've done too is um, they've also built the face to, to give you some more forgiveness so on miss hits again you won't get these big flying lefts and rights um, for the most part, uh, it kind of dampens that um, based on just the face technology alone. And they also have um, this kind of uh, power slit, if you will, and it will give you some uh, some, some extra ball speed, some good boost um, for your ball speed off the driver and off these hybrids and, and fairway woods. Now, <clears throat> what I would mentioned before is um, these are draw biased, what they call draw biased. And I can tell you from experience, the day that I took them out, the day I got them, I took them out to the range. And um, and I've yet to hit a big, ugly uh, slice with these. Um, in fact, I've gotten to the point now where I've been playing with these now for a couple different weeks, or for a couple weeks, and I'm now setting up far right side of the box because I'm not confident that my ball will come back in. Um, and if anything, if I get a little tiny fade, um, it's not enough to get me in any trouble. So these been, have been real reliable as far as being able to shape the ball. Now, let's talk about the hybrids for a minute because um, I had never played a hybrid before. This is the first time I got my hands on a hybrid and uh, I think I actually posted on Twitter the, the first round after I used them why no one told me about hybrids because hybrids are amazing, absolutely amazing. And um, so I've taken the four iron out of my bag. I've got the hybrid three and the hybrid four in there. Um, and I use it, I use both of them all the time. Um, it's actually really, um, with my game, it's really short in the course off the box for me. So if I can hit this, um, you know, 220 out of the, off the box, I'll take it. Because I will take this thing and I will out of the box, bend it right to left every time. Um, now that's not to say I can't move it the opposite direction because out of the fairway, or when I'm hitting off the fairway or out of the, out of the rough, um, and I'm gonna go for it with my hybrid, I can give it some shape left to right, but naturally I've been hitting these without really changing anything in my swing. I've been hitting these right to left um, to the point where it's really, um, I feel like I have an advantage hitting um, these longer clubs now compared to when I had a four iron or even a five iron, um, which I just really struggle with. And I think a lot of us do. So um, these hybrids have really, really improved my longer game. Um, and yeah, and again, I think they look they look really nice. Um, they've got the nice logo on there. 
come with little bags. Come with these covers. Everything comes with a nice cover. Gives you the idea of the bag. So, um, yeah, these are these are well built. Broach has done a good job with these. Now, let's get let's move on to the irons here real quick. Bridgestone has they've come out with two sets of irons. There's the eight, these uh, HF1 and HF2, um, and they're specifically for different golfers. So the HF1 is much more similar to what I was playing with the Ping G30s, kind of the super improvement game irons. Um, and I can show you the difference between kind of the Pings and, and these. These are the F HF2. Um, real quick about the HF1s. B both irons are forged. Uh, the HF1s um, do have that larger sole on the bottom to, to prevent digging. Um, a lot more forgivability on the face, so a little bigger face. Um, and they do come with a different shaft for slower swings. HF2s, which are these here. Um, these are the kind of next generation from their first uh, version of the uh, JGRs. And so this is like the next generation of those. Um, again, forged, more traditional kind of cavity back on there, bit of a smaller face, bit of a narrower kind of uh, leading edge there and profile, also with a polymer insert. So the reason I chose these HF2s to, to test these HF2s is because, as I mentioned, my ball striking has improved quite a bit and I wanted to see if I could graduate to more of a kind of player's iron, which is what this is meant to be. Um, so with these, with the HF2 and the polymer inserts, the polymers are going to deaden kind of the the sound um, of the ball strike, but with these you get much more um, playability and feel uh, through the irons and into your hands, which is I really, really enjoyed. Um, I really like these irons. I've been playing them now. I, I love how they look. I love the, uh, the additional offset that these clubs have. These are really, really nice clubs, um, and they just feel great, and I've been able to work the ball a lot more than with my pings. So this is my this is my ping seven iron, uh, again, the G30s. And you can see there just the difference in width of sole as well as kind of club face. The nice thing about, um, about these, and you can see kind of the offset too, the offset is real close to my pings. So I think that's probably why I've been able to hit these so naturally um, right out of the bat. Um, I mean, I'm to the point now where I've played 10 to 15 rounds probably with, with the full set. I've yet to go back to any of my pings. Um, in fact, I may end up sending the pings out to Arizona where my family lives so I can have a set of clubs out there and I don't have to schlep back and forth when I go out there to visit and play some golf. Um, but yeah, these clubs, now to say that they're player's irons um, isn't to say they don't have some forgivability because they absolutely do. Um, you can look, if you look on my face, you can see I'm, I do, I don't hit center of club every time. Um, and you know that though when you're swinging these, which is really nice. Um, but there is some forgivability, but the biggest advantage to these, I think, is just the feel and the playability and the workability you get by using these. One other little ad addition to these, these yellow grips, I love. Absolutely love them. I've gotten lots of, lots of compliments on them. Um, I just think they're cool. I think they're fun to use. Um, but yeah, that's really the gist of it. Um, now, obviously, you know, you always want to go and try to get fitted for clubs if you can. Um, I didn't get fitted for these, obviously. I just grabbed them out of the bag brand new and uh, played them well. But if you're in the market and you want to try to experiment with them, maybe the next set of clubs for you, I think these would be about it. Um, but that's it. I'm going to go play some golf with my new JGRs. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. If you've played them, let me know. Let me know what you think. But they are pretty, pretty, pretty clubs, and they play great. So I'd, I'd be interested to hear what uh, everyone else has to say. So um, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to get to work. I'll see you next time. McCune reviews it. See you.